Adding and subtracting with significant digits. The rule in this case for addition and subtraction is that the lowest number of decimal places in a measured value, that's what determines the number of decimal places you need to write in your final answer. So in the case of this domino, let's say someone's taken a vernier caliper and measured its length and width very carefully, and this is the accuracy of their measurements. The length is found to be 5.11 centimeters, and the width is found to be 2.5 centimeters, and we're asked to find the perimeter of this domino. So we're going to be doing some third grade arithmetic. We need to add the length plus the length plus the width plus the width, and in so doing we find that that sums up to 15.22 centimeters. Well the rule for uh, working with significant digits in addition and subtraction is that we need to pay attention to this two significant digits right here and we need to say that our answer has to be rounded to um, the number of decimal places which is one digit after the decimal place so we've written approximately equal to, we've used this symbol, we could also use the equal sign with a dot over it, that means the same thing, it's been rounded, 15.2 centimeters. Now when multiplying and dividing with significant digits, the rule changes a little bit. We need to keep as many significant digits in our answer as the fewest number of significant digits in the measured values. So again, looking at the domino, Suppose we're asked to find the area of this domino, it would really be the f area of its footprint. We've got the same measured values that we're working with, 5.11 centimeters, which has the three significant digits, and the width of 2.5 centimeters that has the two significant digits. So I've noted that over here. 5.11 has three sig digs, 2.5 has two sig digs. So when we go ahead and do our arithmetic here, area is base times height or length times width, call it what you want. When we carry out this multiplication, it turns out that it's equal to 12.775 square centimeters. We cannot keep all of these digits. They're not all, uh, under this rule, they're not all going to be appropriate in the answer. So we'll write approximately equal to using one of these signs, and then let's use the rule. We'll keep as many significant digits as the fewest number in the measured values there are two significant digits in this measured value. That means we need two significant digits in our answer. So we're going to have to use these digits here, 0.775, and use them to round this number to two significant digits. So the question is, do we keep it 12 or do we round it up to 13? And you know the rounding rules are going to have us round this up to 13 centimeters squared. Two significant digits in the answer.